Here we are going to learn about insertion in a doubly linked list. So let's see. So for a doubly linked list, so first we will look at the structure of a node. So each node in a doubly linked list, so it has three parts. First is the data part. So you have some data, it could be int data, it could be care data or anything okay a collection of things also okay so we have an integer in each of the nodes then we have two other parts first one is the address of the previous link or the node and the address of the next node so total a node has a data then the address of the previous node and the address of the next node so it tells us that it suggests that we can move both forward and in the backward direction in a doubly linked list. Okay. Then what we need to do is maintain a head of the linked list. So the head of the linked list stores the address of the first node. So the thing is, if we have the address of the first node, then we can traverse the whole linked list because through the first node i come there and i can find the address of the next node i go to the next node and then i can find the address of the third node in the second node and so forth so this is about the structure of a node then let's look at insertion in the beginning of a linked list okay so let's try to understand so we have insertion in beginning of the doubly linked list. So there might arise two different cases. Okay. So the first case is that, okay, let's have a linked list where we have no element at all. So there are two cases, a doubly linked list is empty or doubly linked list has some elements. So if it is empty, so what happens is then we will just find it by using is head is equal to null if it is so it means it's empty so then what we do we use a malloc function so you can see the code here so we use so the insert at first is the name of the function and we have the argument is the key that we want to insert at the first place so if head is null so this is the case when the linked list is empty so this is for empty linked list okay so this is empty linked list so we have empty linked list so then what we do so we make head itself point to a memory location that we get by calling malloc function so m malloc is basically for memory allocation and we say that okay please give us a memory of size of node struct node that we saw that of the structure and it returns us a memory which is of void star so we type cast it to node star type and then what we do so now our list head was like this so it becomes something like this okay so it has these two pointers which are dangling now so what we do head data is equal to key so we put the key in the data part head previous which is this one i make it equal to null and head next i also make it as null so this is my doubly linked list now with one element inside it so head is pointing to that and its previous and next node are null but let's see the case when the linked list was not empty so in that case what will happen is we will have something like let's assume we already have uh, some elements in our linked list okay so let's say that we had got three elements in our linked list so what happens is this is the start and now what we want, we want to add one more element to a non-empty linked list. So we will again, what we do, we make a temporary pointer like this and we get memory for that. So we have this a temp variable we make and for temp, we 
get the memory for of the size of struct node and we put some data in it the key then let's see what we need to do we need to have the proper connection so head is now pointing to let's say one two three and now i inserted an element let's say five okay so now i want to make five as the first element in the link list so what will happen is that till now it was like this but now somehow i have to make this as the first element so what i need to do is make temp next as head then we need to make temp head is this one so head previous as temp so these two connections are now fixed so that is temp next is head and head previous is temp and now head should be made equal to temp so head is made equal to temp and this connection is broken so now head is pointing to this one so it becomes something like now it is a four element link list head is here so it is five then one two and three okay so this is the doubly link list now with the proper connections okay so let's understand the function now so insert at first so first case was what if the head was null so we made head is equal to node star so malloc i got the memory then head data i put it at as the key and then head previous is null and head next is null so this is simple but the else part is when there is a non empty linked list so it was something like this there were some element here okay so there were some element and now so temp i made struct node start temp i did and temp is equal to malloc size of node i did so i got one element like this okay and then what i did temp data is key so i filled that key and then temp previous so temp previous is null the temp previous is null temp next i made equal to head and head previous i made equal to temp and then head i made equal to so this temp okay so this means so my link list is now insert at first is done so here we had missed one thing so that was this temp previous should also be made as null okay so this was about inserting at first but let's see what happens if i have to insert at end of a linked list okay so end of a linked list so what happens is we have now instead of at first position i have to put my element at the last position so what will i do again if the link list is empty so it's trivial so first and last inserting in the beginning and inserting at end will be similar to this case but if it is in the end i am inserting so i will make struct node start temp is equal to head i do okay so it means i will have a temporary pointer which is pointing to so this is temp now this is equal to head so it means temp also has the value 0x35 so these are the memory locations and here we have as in doubly linked list so head previous is null so it is 0 head next is the memory location of the second element so it's 0x27 for the second element the first node is its previous so for the second its previous is 0x35 and for the second its next is the third element which is 0x71 okay so what we do we make temp is equal to also head and now we do a traversal which we do like this while temp next is not equal to null so we do temp is equal to temp next so while temp is this one then temp next is this so while temp next is not null so temp next is not null because it's 
holding pointing to a valid node and its address is 0x27 so it becomes temp is temp next so temp now points here so temp becomes now 27 so it is 27 and now again it checks is temp next which is 0x71 is it null so it's not so so it makes temp is equal to temp next so temp become now 0x71 and pictorial it points here okay so after this again the while loop runs and it checks is temp is equal to is temp next null and it finds that yes it is null so it stops so by these two lines of the code we find that we come to the the temp points to the last element of the doubly linked list so then what happens so then we make another node so struct node star temp to equal to node star malloc size of node so this what it does is that we get temp to so temp to here is something like this and we malloc it so we get some node and its memory let's say is 0x83 okay so now what happens is we get temp2 which is this one okay so this is temp2 now let's see the manipulations so temp next is temp2 so temp next was now null so now it is made equal to temp2 so this becomes equal to 0x83 and hence this temp next now points to this one now let's see so temp next is temp2 temp2 previous is temp temp2 previous is this one it becomes equal to temp so this connection is also made so now temp2 next is null so temp2 next becomes null so this is 0x 0 x 0 0 and then this previous becomes 0x71 and then let's see so temp2 data is key okay so temp2 data is equal to key so whatever we passed so now we see that the connection is made and this is insert at end okay so this was about insert at end and this code you can we can see the demo of the code also